Welcome back to the second part of Newsdesk. Now, back to our top story. Lawrence Warunge, the main suspect in the murder of four family members and their laborer, was expected to appear in court to take plea after the court determined he is fit to stand trial. Now, the court sent him for psychiatric evaluation after he confessed to the cold blood murdered murders and he has been in detention since. Makna Maswa has been following up on this and I, and I am aware that there is a development Mark to you. Okay, so today we were following up on the issue of uh, the Kiambu murder, so five people, including four family members and a farmhand, where the two accused are Lawrence Warunge, Warunge and uh, his girlfriend, Sarah Mudoni. Now, today in court, we expected them to appear at around 9 a.m., uh, that did not happen. Uh, Sarah was brought to court at around 11.30, going towards 12. And uh, unfortunately, uh, they did not take the plea today. So uh, we have heard from the prosecution side explaining why uh, Lawrence was not produced in court. So it turns out that his uh, mental evaluation report was not yet ready. He had been given a date at uh, the Madari Referral Hospital uh, between, on, to, to appear on between uh, 11 a.m. and 12 noon on Mondays for psychiatric evaluation. So he was there today and uh, they couldn't uh, be able to get the mental assessment report for Lawrence Waringe in good time. So the cause for delay today for either plea taking or uh, uh, the prosecution asking for more time uh, to continue their investigations has been occasioned by their failure to secure a mental assessment report for Lawrence Warunge in good time for their court debt today. So that is one. Number two, uh, the prosecution has informed the court that now it turns out that uh, the prosecution side is considering using Sarah Mudoni, the second accused, as a state witness in this murder inquiry or in this murder case. So those two developments, the delay of uh, Lawrence Warunge's uh, uh, mental assessment report, one, and number two, the conversion of uh, Sarah Mudoni from a second accused into a state witness. So those are the new developments that have uh, taken place today in court, which have occasioned us staying here for all these hours waiting to see whether the two will be produced in court. So today they have not been able to take a plea. So tomorrow will be another date that the court has set so that uh, we expect uh, Lawrence Warunge to appear. Then we are also informed that Sarah Mudoni's uh, files are undergoing perusal to uh, consider her as a state witness. So she will now uh, be, uh, she has a, there's a possibility of, of her being converted from a second accused into becoming a state witness in this case. So tomorrow will be another date that uh, the court has set when the two will be produced in court. Finally, we'll, we'll have a mental uh, health assessment uh, a report for Lawrence Warunge uh, to declare whether he is fit to stand trial or not. But uh, we have also been told by the prosecution that uh, Sarah Mudoni, uh, previously second accused, uh, her mental assessment report is already out and she is being considered to become a state witness in this case. So those are the two developments that have uh, taken place today and possibly taking uh, or changing the course of this uh, murder case to another trajectory. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Mark Namaso, for that. As Mark Namaso has just said, there has been a plot twist all over again. Lawrence Warunge was set to appear in court and take plea uh, together with the co-accused Sarah Mudoni, but that is not the case because... One, the mental evaluation report was not ready, that is for Lawrence Warunge. And also the prosecution is considering making Sarah Mudoni, who is the co-accused, as a state witness. Of course, we'll continue covering this for you tomorrow. 